This note from Hannah uh, on the flooding. Good morning, Mike. Listening with um, with great interest about the flooding. We live in South Cheshire, and our local council, Cheshire East, do not drain the gullies or or any kind of maintenance on the ditches, and it's a rural area. And we have our local farmers that are doing that job for us um, at their own cost and in their own time. We had a local farmer, Norman, who. Uh, he went and drained an entire ford that was about three foot deep at the weekend right. out there in his waders doing what the council should have done from the get-go but of course it's not what they do it's up to us to sort it ourselves what we pay council tax for I don't quite know yeah hannah you are absolutely right and many people will say the same thing in the areas that they live uh, the, the 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 proper drainage is not done the proper maintenance of drains is not done uh, the proper clearing of, of water that builds up uh, on the sides of roads is not done properly it's a nightmare i mean i know that it's not the only reason but it doesn't help and it does contribute i think to a lot of people suffering from flood damage we're going to talk to angie prangel uh, now club secretary at cross keys uh, rugby football club near ebba vale uh, angie very good morning to you Good morning, Mike. How Thanks are you? very much. Yeah, good. Very, very good of you to talk to us. Thank you. Um, your rugby club uh, and facilities will be closed until further notice. You've got uh, water presumably inside of the uh, uh, inside of the business. Tell us about it. How what happened? Yeah, it was um, early Sunday morning, around twenty past seven. Um, our caterer has arrived to start the Sunday lunches, yeah. and our social club chairman was here. And all of a sudden, the water just started pouring through the car park. They literally had seconds to get out of the club, right. managed to get in their cars and get away. Um, within half an hour, the club was absolutely flooded. Right. And the had it happened, be has it happened before? Is this the first time it's been flooded? No, no it's, it has happened before. Um, it happened four years ago. Mm. Um, and we asked for flood defences to be put in because we are on the side of a river, yeah. um, but nothing was done. Nothing right. was done at all. Right. Um, and this was quite um, quite unexpected. Although there was a weather warning, it was only an amber, right. and the, the quickness that it happened is unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely. There's nothing worse as well, because I've, I've said this before, but I mean, I've been the victim of flooding in my house, um, you know, many years ago when I lived in Wiltshire. And it was just the worst thing ever because, you know, you can't quite believe the speed with which it moves, can you? And the fact no. that it then comes, I mean, when I had it, it was up to about sort of, you know, waist height inside the house. Um, yeah. uh, and it all came in and then it all went out again and in the yeah. space of about half an hour. It's just, and the, the devastation it leaves is, you know, there's, we came into the club yesterday um, and it's just mud everywhere. I mean, yeah. I'm sat on a wet chair as we speak. Right. Um, but we've got a great team of volunteers that, have, that came in yesterday. We've got another load coming in today. Right. Um, and we've literally got to clean everything. We've stripped everything out, carpets, all the chairs have gone. Yeah. And what about your insurance? Have you got any insurance? Can you get insurance? We have got insurance, but um, they won't cover everything because obviously it's a flood. Right. So, and, and because we're on the side of a river, um, that's the difficulty. Right. They won't. Would you, let me just ask you, would you like to see the government doing a bit more for you? Absolutely. Um, and the, the problem that we had the last time, you'd speak to the council um, about the defences, mm. and they'd say, um, you know, you've got to go to the uh, river authorities. You go to them, and they say, no, you go to the council. So yeah. it's they it playing one off against each other. Yeah. So do you think you'll try and get some defences put up now? Well, we yes, um, we're fortunate that we've got um, the Welsh Rugby Union on our side. Right. Um, they came up yesterday. The chief executive officer came up, um, and she had a good look round seeing the devastation for ourselves. So I think we've got a little bit more pull now. Right. Um, we can call on them to speak to the government, you know, on our behalf. So hopefully we can get something done to prevent this from happening again. Mm. Good. Well, let's wish you luck. Angie, hopefully. When, do you, when are you hoping to be open? Do you think you'll be open for the weekend? Uh, well, we're hoping to get to at least one 
of the rooms open. Right. So um, we've got several rooms in the club, but if we can get the bar open so we can get a little bit of revenue coming back into the club, yeah. um, then I think we've done a, a great job. No, superb. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much indeed. Angie Prangle there, club secretary at Cross Keys Rugby Football Club near Ebervale.